Cheers, Maloney. Mr. Speaker, um, I um, trust the honourable gentleman recalls that this House. Um, overwhelmingly rejected the motion to which he refers to, because this government is focused on delivering for the people of Scotland. That means helping tackle the, on the cost of living, protecting our long-term energy security and growing our economy. <coughs> this place the Secretary of State for Scotland, while explaining the UK government's lack of appetite for a referendum in Scotland's place in the United Kingdom, repeated many, many, many times. The route to referendum in 2014 involved consensus between the governments. Given that democracy is fuelled by consensus, is the Secretary of State for Scotland working towards establishing that consensus, or is he content to deny the people of Scotland their democratic voice? Mr um, Speaker, the Secretary of State for Scotland and this Government will continue to work with the Scottish Government to deliver on the priorities of the people of Scotland. That is dealing with the cost of living, that is dealing with the NHS, that is dealing with our edu education system and a long list of other issues which the Scottish Government are completely failing to deliver on. It is certainly not another independence referendum.